Project Lead the Way is a high school curriculum to get high school students exposed to engineering, get them excited about engineering, and then prepare them for a college degree of study in the engineering field. We're going to have Introduction to Engineering Design, which they'll typically take as a freshman, gives them the basics of mechanical engineering, using AutoCAD to do drawings on the computer. Uh, then as sophomores, they take Principles of Engineering, which is giving them the physics of engineering. They build bridges, uh, we build robots, so they get a lot of experience in how to actually make really complicated machines come to life. And then the last two years, they can have special Especially classes around digital electronics and doing circuit boards. They could do civil, uh, learn how to build buildings and architecture, and uh, different engineering disciplines specific. Project Lead the Way has helped me in different classes like math and science, specifically geometry, because it helps me visualize different things better, which is a big part of geometry. I would recommend the Project Lead the Way program to other students because it's a lot of fun. Uh, you do a lot of interesting projects and you learn more about statistics, which sounds boring but it's actually it can be very interesting at times. It's a great reinforcement for math and science because they have to take geometry, algebra uh, while they're in high school they have to take chemistry and physics. In engineering we're doing hands-on projects with those same disciplines. So I've seen kids that they're not excited about going to math class or chemistry because they just kind of sit there and do the, the pieces of it but then when they have to do a project that kind of brings it all together they're like oh my gosh we were just doing that in geometry now it makes sense because once they can do put their hands on it things start to click into place. They know, okay, that's why I have to do it this way, because that thing will break if I don't. And it really, it seems to really help them perform in those classes a lot better. The best way it prepares them is by getting them ready for the tools that they're going to use in college and beyond. So we use the same types of technology and tools. We use a 3D printer to do prototypes, which they'll be doing in college. We use the same kind of architecture and CAD software that they'll use in college and in the workplace. So I think one of the big benefits of taking this while you're in high school is it exposes you to the same technology, the same tools that you'll be using both in college and beyond. The engineering and technology pathway at Pflugerville ISD includes principles of manufacturing, engineering design and presentation, concepts of engineering and technology, and robotics and automation. In the principles of manufacturing class, it includes CNC machining, robotics, basic electronics, the engineering design presentation classes. They use AutoCAD to develop engineering drawings. In the concepts of engineering technology class, they learn basic engineering principles and robotics and automation, the students build using basic electronics, a robot, and they use a program called PICAX, which is a basic program, and they, they program their robot and they test and they evaluate the robot functions. Opportunities for the engineering and technology program have included trips to EVS Metals, it's a sheet metal fabrication plant here in Pflugerville, Avant Technologies, which is a memory chip manufacturing plant, and the students have also traveled to National Instruments to learn more about engineering and what happens in the real world industries. Computer science is the only class at Henriksen where you can learn how to code. It is offered in an AP variant so you can take an AP class and earn credit for the course. UIL is also available so you can compete against other high school students and show off your coding skills. Coding is very important nowadays because everything is moving towards the technology side of things. The game design program here in Pflugerville is based on a four-year career path whereby the students explore the fundamentals and foundations of the art of game design. Then they move into a programming aspect. Then ultimately in their fourth year, they'll be finishing up their four-year experience with a capstone project. And the students do problem solving and developing a completed game. I was thinking about getting a career around video gaming and around special effects and everything. And I found out that this program offers a variety of different things that we learn, including Photoshop and dealing with a lot of engines around gaming and everything which will be very useful later on in my career. I didn't know what I would do after high school and stuff, so like after being here, it opened many opportunities. Like I wanted to like be in the game industry or like designing videos or using Photoshop or any all of those programs. The game design program helps the students in the future because it's preparing them for 
21st century skills that are used in both higher education and in the real job world, the career world, which their interests lie. So the stuff that they're doing in this class, which involves being able to work with other students, a diverse body of students, you work with small groups, large groups, it's a project driven, it's student driven, it's an environment that prepares the students for a real world uh, experience that's found outside of the classroom. Our mission really is to, to foster the next generation of, of young storytellers uh, and young artists, for that matter. We began with the introductory audio video production, really focusing on the, the technical elements of video production, but also the storytelling elements. From there, students can, can move on and take the second year advanced audio video production class. And at that point, students can branch out into more specific fields of interest, whether that be film or broadcast journalism. Coming into this class at first, I was brand new and I hadn't really done any film stuff before. And this class has taught me a lot about how to use the equipment, how to use the software. Definitely take the video tech class because it is something different, it is new, it's, um, it's something more than just your average classroom, and it teaches you things, it opens you up to new experiences, and it helps you prepare for your future after high school. Principles of Human Services is a course required before fashion design, which would give an introduction to sewing and principles and elements of art. You also need to be uh, motivated to stay on task, organized, and attention to detail. I want to be a fashion designer when I graduate. I want to work in journalism and the fashion industry, and I really want to figure out a way to combine both of my interests. Interior design is about interior architecture and just studying the historical pieces that move into what, um, how houses came about. Students will be able to design different floor plans, what makes a house a home, and create different furniture lines and accessories that fit into the house. People that are going to be taking interior design on their pathway is a business and industry endorsement. You will take interior design, advanced interior design, and architectural design, your sophomore, junior, and senior level. And your freshman year, you'll take principles of human services. On expectations, you will be able to read an architectural ruler, how to read a floor plan, and actually design a house in a home styler website. After high school, you will be able to design your own dream home and know how a floor plan is read and what works for your needs and wants in a client profile. One class period is for math and the other class period you go and build a house. The house it gets sold at the end of the year, but you get the, the students construct everything from the rooftop. Everything is built by hand. Um, you also get to build different things in the class period. There, there's different things that, that we do like daily. Right now we're building something for the nursing home. Just different things. It's, it's a good class that builds up good leadership and stuff because we work in groups sometimes, you know, and your group has to complete the task to do like, and you have to lead the group to complete the task or else you won't get the grade. Because the grade that your leader gives you in the group is the grade that goes in the grade book. I like that it involves one of like my personal hobbies because for about two years now I've been graphics designing and now that I actually get to do something that I like at school, I do freelance graphics designing and I use it here at school as well outside of this class. It helped me learn like a lot of the technical terms of things that I didn't know before, so it's definitely helped me improve my photoshopping skills by far. The course names are Public Speaking and Debate. This course fits into the Legal Services, which is part of Arts, Audiovisual, and Communication Pathway. Speech and debate is extremely applicable to life. You will learn to speak confidently in front of large groups, be well versed in current events, and constantly push yourself to learn more. Uh, this year, I think the best part about speech and debate is going to all of the tournaments. Tournaments are a lot of fun because you get to spend time with people that you care about for a whole weekend, and you also get to get out of class, which is nice. And yeah, going to tournaments is awesome. 
The Business of Finance pathway provides the students the opportunity to engage in certain classes that are all encompassing of the business environment from marketing to business management to accounting to personal finance. What it does is it provides them the skills, whether it's workplace skills or whether it's software skills, that gives them the opportunity to be able to go jump right into the workforce. It's not unusual for students to come out of high school uh, with some type of internship or possibly even a paid uh, job as they come out of high school with the skills that they're given. Some of the jobs and careers they can do, sales, they can look at management, they can look at technology. It's all hands-on and the beauty of it is is that students can take those skills currently today that they're working on and then just easily transfer those into the workplace. The Business Pathways helps give them the hand-on experience while training in a variety of different skills as well as careers. We have career preparation and we also have Business Professionals of America. These organizations help take education to the next level. Well, I plan on pursuing my degree in either computer engineering or business management. The course I've taken here have had made me gain a real life experience, such as dealing with people who are in the real world, who are in business, through leaderships and clubs, such as BPA. I recommend these students get involved in BPA and other classes because it's very important uh, just because you don't know what you're going to be yet. It's never permanent and it's something that it's just good to try. Just try everything even if it doesn't seem like it's for you. I didn't think I'd like business but I ended up thinking it's pretty interesting and you have four years to try and mess up and it's okay if you mess up. You just got to find what you love. It's basically because you're going to have your job for the rest of your life so it's basically find what you love and just try. The Health Science Pathway consists of Principles of uh, Health Science, which is a ninth grade class traditionally. Once they take that class, they move up to Health Science, which is a traditionally a 10th grade class, but we do have quite a few juniors that end up joining that class. Um, our junior year is set up for uh, medical terminology and also uh, pathophysiology and we also have medical micro that can fit into that spot as well. Uh, our senior year has two options. You can have practicum which is a double block uh, course and you get to go to the hospital, you do clinicals, there's a lot of opportunity there. Uh, the second pathway is if you only have spot for say a single block class and that's World Health Research and that's where we teach them how to research and we go back to the initial bubonic plague and we look at pandemics and epidemics along the way. Being involved in the health science pathway gives these students the opportunity to explore healthcare, explore jobs in healthcare, and even potentially a foot in the door should they get a certification their senior year into an entry level position in healthcare. After I leave high school, I am planning on continuing my uh, job as a climbing instructor through college for, for those four years. And then after college, I plan on going into the Navy as a engineer, corpsman, uh, just whatever it calls. And my, I feel my experience at Conley with Health Science and HOSA is really helping me out. I've talked to recruiters about it and they're, they're very excited that I've gone through these programs. Just our health science group in general, we do a lot of stuff. Um, as a senior, I get to go to clinicals at one of the hospitals because of one of the practical classes. And it allows me to get hands-on experience and it looks really good when applying for colleges. If you're interested in the medical field, it it's, it's an amazing program. Um, and we, we even have a HOSA club, which is Health Occupation Students of America, which um, is involved with HST and that kind of stuff. And it allows you just to interact. Like, the bond that I've built, like, with just our HOSA officers, are, it's amazing. I, it's one of, one of the best clubs in Connolly, if you ask me. The goals of the education and training pathway are pretty much to prepare students who have an interest in teaching or working with children in some form or fashion, um, prepare them for what um, lies ahead in their future. Is this something they want to pursue? Is this something they don't want to pursue? So it just kind of gets them ready and um, helps them decide what they want to do with their life. Do, do they want to work with children or do they not? The most exciting part of being a part of Ready, Set, Teach is that it's not only a classroom, it's more of like a family environment that you're in and you get to know these, these people like very well. And working with the kids in the elementary school is just a passion for all of us and we really have learned a lot from this program. I would say it's given me like something that I know I want to do because I know a lot in high school especially there's not really like a whole lot of stuff you can try out ahead of time and this is like perfect for that where you can see if you want to do it before you spend 
X amount of money on college classes that you're never going to really use if you end up switching your major or something. So that's why I think this is really great because a lot of people leave or high school having no clue what they want to do and this gives you a chance to kind of try some things out. Working in race and teaching is probably the best thing I've ever done in high school. It's definitely like, like we've become such a close family and there's like I can't think of anything better than being in race and teaching.